Your frontal lobe matures as we get older, but how can you tell how well it's functioning? One way is the Stroop test for which you try and say as quickly as possible the colors that the words are written in rather than what the letters represent. And if there are hesitancies or the patient pauses or gets stuck, then that can reduce the scores. This checks a person's cognitive control by providing what's called cognitive interference with the words. Another test is something called lexical fluency where you try and say as many words as possible within 60 seconds. A pass mark is above nine, but the average person can produce between 15 and 20, which can significantly change depending on somebody's education level. The next one is conflicting instructions. You ask them to tap once when you tap twice, that's denoted by the number one, or for them to tap twice when you tap once, that's denoted by the letter two here, and then you get them to follow the sequence, and ideally there should be zero errors. You can also get someone else to test you. 